Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a black screen with text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Premiere. So I've got a blank project set up here. And the problem right now is if we click on the text tool and try and add some content, some text content, we can't do that without having some type of media to overlay the content on top. We need some duration, right? So what we'll do is go to the media pool here, right click and go to new and we we'll set it to a color map here, color map. Let's click that and we'll set the width to 1920 by 1080 or you can adjust the resolution accordingly. I'm going to leave it at 30 frames a second and leave it at square pixels and click OK. Now I can choose the color. It doesn't have to be black. It can be any color that you want. But in this case, I'm just going to use a black background. Let's click OK. And it's just called color mat here and we'll click OK. So if we drag this color mat onto the timeline and we'll see it here, we can increase or decrease its duration. As default is five seconds. Let's just say we want to make it 29 seconds. There's 29 seconds. And one thing I've noticed, if you click on the text tool now and click in the um, video player here, it still won't work. So you need to move the timeline forward and then you can move it back again afterwards. Why that is, I'm not sure, but if you click on the text tool now and click inside, it will work perfectly fine. Let's just type in something like, um, I'm just going to type in Premiere is awesome. I'll click on the move tool so we can move that object around. We can double click inside and change the text as well. And we can just click on the move tool and move it around. So inside of the windows here and go to effects controls, you'll see the effects controls here. And then you can expand the text. Um, it's, it's got actually written text here and then the words afterwards. Premiere is awesome. So you know you're editing that particular point of text. And in here we can change the font. Let's just change it to something else. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Maybe we'll use, um, let's see if we can find impact, right? Impact is here. Let's click that. So I like that particular font. And we will, um, let's change the, let's change it to bold. And I want to just increase the spacing between the characters. Let's increase the spacing here. Let's kind of drag it to the middle a bit. And here we can change the font size. Let's make that a bit bigger. Let's move it towards the middle and we've got fill options let's turn on the stroke let's click on the stroke here let's make that sort of a nice sort of light blue color right something like something like this and we'll click ok and the stroke is very small so let's increase the stroke now we can see that outline stroke there and the text is looking much better now right but the point of this tutorial was to show you that you can add this matte color first and that become that that's pretty much your video content although it's just a black background and then you can overlay your text and then you can stretch out this text and you can start to add other effects to it you can start to animate that move it across the screen using the tools to to manipulate the text i'll be doing more in-depth tutorials on animation um, using after effects for text-based content and other types of content but for now i just wanted to show that you can easily add a black background using that technique and then change the um overlay the font on top okay so my final tip is if you double click on the matte color mat this this um, on the bottom video clip here double click on it you can actually change its color quite quickly so if you wanted to do like a, a different shade maybe like a really sort of dark green for example you can pick any color you like click ok and now you've got this sort of off green color if you want to do that it doesn't have to be black this is why i use this particular option because i'm able to manipulate the color if you right click inside here and go to new item you can just create a black video so that's kind of similar it does a similar similar logic it's just a black video clip but I prefer to use the matte because then I can control the color. It doesn't have to be exactly black. It can be like a really sort of dark green. Then you can work with your text and work with the background and try and get um, a nice color scheme going, right, for your particular video clip that you're creating. So let's go to File, Save. That's how you go about creating a black background or any color background and then overlay text straight on top. Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.